Welcome everybody to my top 10 anime video. Today we're going to be going over my top 10 anime of spring 2017. Copyright issues had me a bit down, but it's a new season, so I kind of have to just suck it up. Plus, this season's pretty damn good. As always, this will only include new series, no sequels, or prequels for that matter. And with that being said, let's get into it. だって、この目もどう見たって椿に見えませんよ。言い訳すな。おっと。椿吉野って人は分かりましたよ。8年前にお亡くなりになってますよ。な。Number 10, Sakura Quest. Sakura Quest is a kind of maybe slice of life comedy anime. Not positive what slice of life entails exactly. It's about Yoshino, a girl that moved to Tokyo to get out of the countryside. Unable to find a job, she accepts a job to be the queen of a rural town. What she thought was a job for a day ends up lasting a whole year. During that time, she makes some friends, and together they try to revitalize the town. First off, apparently a population of 50k is considered rural. For reference, the city I live in has 20,000 people. I don't know. There's not much to say about the show, it's just kind of the relaxing anime of the season for me. The comedy's pretty good in some parts, and overall, it's... It's decent. あ、ゴミ処理場で見つけました。くそ。さあ、早く被ってください。待て、やめろ。だったらこっちも。いや、じゃ、わしゃ、カブラ君だぞ、金座。だったら。あら、もう。小太郎ったら何も言わないから。お
probably the best 3D anime I've ever seen, quality-wise. Number six, Aramaga Sensei. And right back in the non serious shows. Remember Oraimo? Same thing pretty much, except they're step siblings, so hopefully, no cop out ending this time. Hopefully. Masamune is a light novel author. Together with his illustrator Aramaga Sensei, he hopes to become the best selling author. Masamune has never actually met Aramaga Sensei and figured he was just some disgusting otaku on account of his really perverted drawings. But eh, turns out it's his shut in sister Sigiri. Who could have seen that coming? Aside from everyone that read the synopsis and had common sense. Just like Oraimo, more girls join to harm and more random chaos ensues. If you like the Oraimo or you're a pervert, you'll probably like this one. Number 5, Zero Kara Hajimeru Maho no Show. No, it has nothing to do with Ray Zero. The story is about Yoei, a half man, half beast known as a beast fawn who desires to become human. One day he mates the witch named Zero, who promises to make him human if he helps her retrieve a stolen grimoire. Story's pretty decent, I've liked all the episodes so far, although episode 2 was kinda meh. Main character being a badass beast man is a nice change of pace, not a lot of animal people in anime. Blonde kid is... he's alright. But the main reason to watch the show is obviously Zero. She's cute as fuck, she's a badass, and her and Yohei's interactions are pretty damn adorable. Plus she just does not give a shit. <laughs> Number 4, Quan Ji Ga Shou. What's this? A highly rated Chinese anime? Say it ain't so. Quan Ji Ga Shou is about Ye, a top player in the game called Glory. He gets kicked from his team and ends up becoming an employee at an internet cafe. He starts playing again on Glory's newly launched 10th server and starts his journey back to the top. Chinese anime seems to get a lot of bad rep for varying reasons, but a lot of time they're just not at the snuff, animation wise at least. And it's nice to see one that's as high quality as this. As you probably could have guessed, it's Chinese dubbed. It really bothered me for the first episode, I'm not sure why, but I got over it and I'm glad I did. The art is absolutely stunning, I'd say easily the best of the season. There isn't much story so far, it's mostly just watching him be a badass and clear levels like they're nothing, leaving everyone around him in awe, but it's insanely fun to watch, and again, beautiful. <laughs> Number 
Number three, read creators. Turns out humans are essentially gods. The books, games, anime that people make actually create physical dimensions. Something has happened and characters from these different dimensions end up in our world. Some of them want to force their creators into changing their world. Others aren't sure what to do. Probably the worst explanation I've ever given, but hey, I think it's the point across. Probably. One of the things that stands out the most is honestly the soundtrack. It feels really weird to say since I rarely notice the music, but the soundtrack is pretty fucking great. The characters are pretty interesting, ranging from magical girls to street punks to Walter White. The concept is cool, usually it's the MC that ends up in the fantasy world, not the fantasy characters coming to our world. It's definitely worth picking up this season. Number 2, Rokudanashi Majitsu Koshito Akashic Records. The new substitute teacher at a prestigious magic academy is none other than our main character, Glenn. Fucking Glenn. Glenn doesn't really want to be there, he's lazy and kinda sucks at magic, getting his ass kicked by one of his students. Or so you think! Well, he's kinda lazy and he did get his ass kicked, but he is a badass mage, he just sucks at speed chaining. What's the story? I have no clue. Something about a castle in the sky and people wanting to get there. There's some evil mages and a princess and stuff. Not trying to trash it. I genuinely like the show, but since I'm only four episodes in, the whole story hasn't really been established yet. Despite having a lot of cliche tropes, it's fun to watch and it's executed really well. Number one, Shimatsu Nanashite Maska, Isagashi Eska, Skute Marate Ideska. Short into Suka Suka. Suka Suka is set 500 years after humanity went extinct by the hands of powerful monsters known as beasts. The surviving races now live in floating islands unreachable by those beasts. A small group of girls has the ability to use ancient weapons to fend off the beasts. The main character, Willem, is the last surviving human. He takes a job and becomes a father like figure to these girls. It almost sounds cliche monsters, girls with ancient weapons, fighting for survival. It sounds like this is going to be an action anime, but it's not. What I've seen and what I've heard, there's not a lot of action in the show. Instead of focus on the relationship between the girls and Willem, and you know what? It's fucking beautiful. So far, it's such a great show, and I hope nothing but good things for it. And there you have it, my top 10 anime of spring 2017, but what would a top 10 be without some honorable mentions? Shows like Don Machi, Sword of Oratoria, a side story that focuses on eyes that runs parallel to the main show, Shingeki no Bahama, Virgin Soul, sequel to Shingeki no Bahama, and 24 episodes this time, Berserk 2017, Everyone knows what Berserk is, still great, get over Derrick style, Boku no Hero Academy of Season 2, more superhero -y goodness, and finally the obvious one, Shingeki no Kyojin Season 2. Fortunately it's only 12 episodes, but amazing nonetheless. And anyways, thanks for watching, let me know what you think, maybe leave your top 10 in the comments below, and with that being said, see you in my next video. Bye!